Hey, what's up guys? My name is Axis Roy. Welcome back to another video. This is a second episode of my mini series, which is, you know, the Jedi hunt on Felucia. I've, you know, really happy that I just decided to go with Felucia because I really wanted to do that planet and this is my perfect opportunity to do so. And I can't wait to show you guys all of the progress that I've uh, made in this episode. I'm super happy with how everything is going so far. Here you guys can see the two plants that I've been working on. These are pretty prominent in Felucia and I'll show you guys some more because I actually added some lights in them as well and I really like the look of them. This is another plant design that I worked on, you know, off camera and I really like this, you know, design like definitely not a earth plant but a, you know, an alien kind, uh, alien kind of plant and they kind of look like some of the plants in Felucia in themselves but I want to take some creative liberties and here they are in the mock uh, just you know seeing where they would fit the best and you know I'm just mapping out where all the plants are going to be here, here you guys can see that I'm you know put it on the mock and I want to show you guys in the video format how it looked you know with all the perspective shots and stuff like that and also you know decided on the figure placement where everyone is going to be this is Definitely one of the more major things in my mock right now is this plant design. I'm still prototyping it. I do not have enough parts for it. But if you stay till the end of the video, you'll see that I got a new part, which is going to be major for this plant. And I also added some, you know, smaller, you know, uh, plants on the ground there. You guys can see there's two plants next to each other. This is an older picture, but you'll see how it looks like afterwards. You guys can see some of the light work that I put into one of those pillar, uh, you know, pil pillar plants basically, and some more shots of the blue uh, um, flower. I think it's a big flower. And here is some spoilers uh, for the lights, but I'll show you guys that right after the next clip. Uh, so you know, this is something I wanted to change because there was a lot of dark tan. I just thought there needed to be needed to be some more colors, some groundwork colors, some brown. I think it looks way better like this. It, it adds a lot more depth and doesn't make it so bland. Also, be adding medium nougat and dark orange in the middle, you know, as the kind of the the road, I guess. And I really like the look of this mug, guys. I can't wait to add more of those blue flowers as well. But here is something major about this mug. I didn't know, did not know I was going to do this in this mug, and I was so happy that I actually did. Is adding light. So I added some of these fairy lights. I just wrapped it around the whole, um, you know, plant, and then tried decided to you know hide the wires behind, of course, so you can't see it. And this is the uh, light my bricks lights and my two lightsabers. So. This looks just amazing. I just really love the whole atmosphere of this whole mock and having the light up lightsaber just that was something I had at first. But if you see these perspective shots, it's just so nice. I can't wait to add all of the plants and all of the colors that are going to be in this mock. It's just amazing. Can't wait to show you guys the fully finished mock. And I'm so happy with the lights. I also decided to go with a warm white instead of a cool white. It just made more sense. And here is basically the final shot of you know the progress this week before I show you guys the haul later. And I'm just can't wait to see what you guys you know response in the comments and see what you guys actually think of this mock. This it's so crazy how I decide to first I wanted to do something with like a like an earth tree, like something basic with some um, and some you know accent colors, but it just changed into Felucia and I'm so happy I actually you know went with it since you know I, I mean this is maybe the only time I'll do a Felucia mock, so this is a perfect time to do so. And here we have the final shot of the, you know, of the progress. But I still have an awesome haul to show you guys, you know, just to end the video with. And uh, show you guys an awesome part that uh, will have very much help my mock. So here we have a package open. And there are some parts in it that are for Felucia and some are just for, you know, things I found on the store itself. But let's just open it up. And let's see what's inside. So we'll just go one by one. First of all, we have some you know, translucent blue pieces and some of these dark tan to attach plants to it and stuff. Uh, nothing too special. I can, I have some pieces that are for the plants, as you guys can see. I can help make something with these, you know, dish pieces. Uh, but as you guys have seen before, my plants are more brick bolts, so I'm not sure if I'll use those. Uh, here we have some of these plus plates and these are mainly used for like branches i'll use in my ender mock you know in the future i have to prepare for that since that is going to be my you know biggest mock ever then we have one of the gamorian guards of the new boba 
uh, Boba Spellus set. And the thing is, I actually only wanted the figures from that set. So I think I might just sell the set and just use these figures since uh, I actually got the set for like 35% discount. So I can get some profit of that as well. Here we have some more of these pieces for also for branches since you know they obviously they branch out they give me more surface area for the for the leaves here we have some of these horn pieces i really like these they are great for minban and just you know adding some more dead plants to the surface and then some of these which are pretty expensive actually but these are perfect you know to for attaching plants to a dark tan surface since i only have these i don't have these in dark tan so those are going to be very useful here we have some more translucent pieces and these are actually going to be used uh in my mock since i have more of these this is not a, fi a finished design but the these do use the dish piece so i can use that for that um and some you know other parts as well here we have some more of these slopes and I actually am, am going to need so much more for this for Minban as well. And this is a very interesting part that I found on the store and this is going to be very interesting and I'm very interested how I'm going to use these because I kind of want to, I mean the, the, these look a lot like the leaves from Volusia so I bought a bunch of these and I think I might just do something like that and I, I, I would be the first person to do it which is pretty cool. And I think this will look very nice. So expect that to see that in the next episode. Uh, you know, some sort of prototype of that. And I think that actually looks really nice. So this is such a good find. And I'm happy I, you know, found something to be a bit original and have, you know, make a new technique, I guess. And I think I got five of those and they come with two each. One a smaller one and one bigger one. So it's pretty cool how I find this kind of piece for this. It's pretty, pretty much perfect for it. Here we have some, you know, stocking for Endor. I should probably, I should just make like a big bin just prepared for Endor. And um, here we have some more of these translucent pieces. Once again, uh, you know, for the plants. Next up, we have some more, you know, variation of bar, uh, reddish brown plates. And here we have one of the Quarren figures from the same set. Um, also, for the same reason, I just want the aliens for, you know, Star Wars mock civilians, rebels, and all that stuff. Uh, here we have more of these pieces. So I actually got a super good reception for these plants, which also I made a technique for, which is these, um, you know, blast pieces from the superhero sets. Just hold it by friction. I don't know if you can see it, but they're under the dish there. They're kind of loose, so I you really need to put, uh, you know, some friction on it. And I got a bunch more so I can make some more as well. And, uh, you know, get these plants in there as well i think i'll actually change this to a different color since i i don't know the two transparent pieces kind of collide with each other so that's that we have more dark tan pieces more ladders for the minban trenches and let's see what we have uh, here as well more of these which i actually didn't have any of and it's pretty great to have some more of these now um also for trees and more indoor stuff, a whole bunch of more of these. And then the last figure, I forgot the, the name of the, the species, but this one also came in the set with Boba's Palace. And that's pretty much it for this package. I'm actually was kind of, uh, this is probably what I'm most hyped for because I wasn't sure if it was going to be this blue, which is it is, so that's perfect. So I'll have to find a way to attach them. Probably just, you know, put it in between two plates or something. But I think this is going to look very nice like this. So I'm very happy to have bought these pieces. And this piece, I wanted to talk about this piece since this one is from like... This is from like an Exo Force set. And I actually should have three, but I only found one. And it's pretty funny. I bought some more, of, of course. But it's pretty funny how this piece is like something I would probably never use in a mock. And this time, it actually is going to be used in a mock. So... I got this cool haul from Bricklink. I have, I think, two or three more Bricklink orders for the next episode to show you guys, which is going to be mainly parts for these plants because I want to make like two more or three more. But that's pretty much it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this little bit, this little mini series that I have of my Volusia mock. I'm super happy with how it's going so far. And I'll just do the intro while I put this plant back right here. So if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to this channel and uh, guys for 
trying to get to that 10k subscriber goal and i really appreciate all your guys' support and if you want to help me out even more you can always hit the notification bell and you can always see when i upload so that's that's pretty much it guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and staying till the end and i'll see you guys in my next video